Hi there, this is Debbie. Um, this is a design I previewed and I called it Victorious. Um, it was for some contest. Uh, I think it was for something Amanda... Um, oh my gosh, my brain's going dead. And Monica? Is that right? Oh my gosh, I am so sorry. Anyways, I previewed this because I had done it um, as a tribute for some some very worthy cause. I'm sorry, my mind cannot recall it at this moment. And this is the one I showed on Instagram. This was my original, and I kind of... It looks so terrible. I thought, nah, I'm never going to do a tutorial on this design. But, you know, this one looked nice. And then I made this one, which I'm totally in love with. Isn't that pretty? So now I love this design. And Victorious for overcoming disease. And Victorious in a much less important way. And I was Victorious over this very haphazard design. So anyways, let's get going. This is your loom setup. It's four pins or four bars. Two in the middle are one pin lower than the two on the outside. For the bands, uh, the, my A color and position are the black sweets right here. And I'm going to be using, what am I using? Hmm. I forgot. <laughs> I forgot which ones I was using for what. Okay, I think I know. I think I, I picked out, <laughs> I've had this set up for so long and I haven't, it's been weeks, um, but buying by looking at the amounts, no, 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 no. Looking at the amounts, this would have been the A color band, I believe. Are the green medieval? Um, I don't know if they were the, the lime green or they're the one of the medievals. I just can't remember which one. It's green on the inside and silver. Oh, silver on the outside. And for the center up the back, which I use. The white, or maybe they use glow in the dark. I think I am using the which one of these? Oh, the silks pink. Oh, I hear my phone going off in the other room. I'm going to take breaks. And then for the stripes, the ones across, which I use the fireworks Ellie editions, which I think looks so cool with the black and the white. I am using the um, this this base. Sorry about that. Hubby needed a grocery list and make sure if I needed anything or not. Anyways, the third one that I'm using for the um, bands that go across to make these cute little, they peek out real cute on each side. I'm using the black, the 300 count with the white inside. Now, if you don't have, a, you know, a 300 count band, since the regular white bands are didn't hold the shape very well, I would just suggest for the C colored bands, the C position, is to use the the whatever bands you have that hold their form and have the best elasticity because these obviously got loose so they're not, they didn't hold their position very well. And, oh yeah, I accidentally changed the way because these are on the outside here and these are on the inside here. So maybe that's not going to matter after all because I just realized I accidentally made it different and better. Good for me. Pat on the back, Debbie. <laughs> I didn't even realize. <laughs> Alright, let's get going. We are to place all the A bands. So, which ones did I say were the green? So, since there are two down here for my closer band, and I'm not going to bother doubling it up here because these are thick enough. I'm pretty sure. Oh yeah, this is a full length band, I believe, and I wear a six and a quarter inch bracelet, and that's how it looks. So if you have a bigger wrist, it might go up to, oops, go up to here, or you might add one on each side. So let's get back to work. So. 
So my instructions, which I didn't even go over beforehand, you are just going to place up each side. And I'm assuming we need to get to the end as we normally do when we do a border. Now, I don't usually do a border first. I always try to find some other way to make it happen. But I guess this design, it's working for me. So, okay. Oh, okay. Okay, so you're going to do that all the way up and then bring it from here to here, okay? So sorry for the extra loud ringing phone. This is my husband at the grocery store, making sure that he's getting everything right. He is a sweetheart, and he's so considerate and caring. So I've turned down the phone, so in case somebody walks in with my phone again, it won't offend your ears. So the next step are putting the B bands, which you're going to place two like this. And then the C band is going to go like this. And I'll show it to you a few times. But afterwards, this is pretty much what you're going to do all the way up. You start on these two pins right here. Stretch it across. And there's probably an easier way to do this, but this is my notes. And this is how I made it work. So these are probably a little redundant, and so you can find your shortcut. But... I'm just going to show it this way. So once they're like this, you're going to lift this back off. So you probably could have just left it here. <laughs> and bring it down like this. Okay, I don't know if I can angle this so you can see that. Let's back off a little bit. Let's see how that looks. to keep your bands so that you know like the outside is black keep them looking like that so they're not twisted okay and then you're going to take the lower one okay and bring it up and as I'm doing that I'm trying to make it so that the black is still, ooh, big, it's falling apart. So see, all the way around, the outside of the band is showing. Of course, on the inside, it's all white. Except right here where it kind of goes flat, but you can't help that. The key is that the part going up is on top, and this part is underneath. So this is on top. And this is underneath. So slide that down just a little bit so we can put the next set of bands on. And this is what you're going to do all the way to the top of the loom. You place your two B colored bands. I don't know if I should call it B colored or B positioned. They're pretty much one and the same. Then you will take this. And I guess pretty much um, you don't really have to bring it up there because you're just going to take it off and bring it back down. So you're going to do this. Okay. And then, oh wait a minute. Now I'm confusing myself. Okay, I'm going to go back here. Oh, I, I'm so sorry. Okay, let me start over. You have to pull this first. I'm so sorry to confuse you. This has to be first. And I don't need to pull this up after all because you were pulling it down over here. Okay. So if you can see... The band is just looped around either outward one and the bottom, this part, this outside, goes underneath and then this one is above it. 
So now you're going to reach the one underneath like this and bring it up and around. Again, paying attention um, so that your bands aren't twisted. If they're all the same color, it won't matter as much, but it will not look as neat if they're all twisted. Okay. Place two B position bands. Pull it across the next two outer pins. Bring the bottom part of the band up over these two center pins. Push it down just a little bit so that when you bring this one up and over, there's room for it. And then take the one on the bottom and bring it up over these two middle bands above it. It's pretty simple. It's just making sure you do everything in the right order. And I'm sorry I confused you a little bit, but I'll do it a couple more times now that I've got the rhythm. So the two B position bands are in. So the next two outer pins, stretch it across, making sure that it's not twisted. Bring the bottom half of the band over these two pins. Push it down just a little if necessary so that you have room to bring this one over those two pins. And remember, pay attention that the outer color, you know, the outside color, stays on the outside. And then bring the bottom of that band and over this way. Oh, I've closed the door in this room. There's no circulation. Oh, getting hot. I'm getting warm. And a little bit perspiring. It's humid. It's been kind of humid here lately. Humid and overcast which is very strange for Southern California because it's usually hot and sunny. As you all know, we're having a severe drought. I guess the only thing about this moist air is it's preventing further evaporation of what little water we have left. So across the two outer pins, bring the bottom half over. Bring the top over the bottom, these bottom two centers, and then grab the one underneath. See, there's two, top and bottom. Grab the underneath and bring it over these two bands. I'm bars. Blah, blah, blah. <laughs> okay, I'll show you one more time, and then I think there's enough footage for you to. Re um, I guess you rewind, because it's not like rewinding, because rewinding came when you had a tape to rewind. So I don't know what they call it now. Reverse. Go back and review previous footage <laughs> to see, you know, to look at it again if you if you need to um, do so. So I place the two B position bands. Take the C color and put it in the C position. Just stretch it across the two outer, band, outer pins. Grab the bottom half, bring it over. And I'm gonna go turn the camera off, go sit up in my living room where it's much cooler. Bring this over here. Bring the other over these two pins. And you're just going to keep doing that all the way until you can't do it anymore. So, your last two B pins would be from here to here and here to here, and then your last C band go across here and then do the sequence. And it'll be back. 
Oh, I might not be able to say that, especially with an accent, because I think he's trying... Arnold is trying to copyright that or something. I don't know. But I will be back. <laughs> See you in a minute. Here is the loaded moon. And this is what it looks like at the end. You can see the black band around. So, the last thing I'm going to do is cap off these two right here. And so we will double over, place on one of them, and stretch it over the other. And this is a pretty simple, oh, Juju. Katie wants to be part of the scene. Here's my bangle. Hey, Juju, say hi to everyone. Juju. Oh, look how cute Juju is. I can't pull back any further. There you are. Show everybody how cute you are. Look at that face. Look at that face. That Juju face. Your spots. Can you see your spots? Come, on. Come here. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not hurting her. That's really good. See your spots? What you can see? Them? Okay, get out of here. Go away. I'm busy. Shoot. She's messed up my workstation. But it's okay, she's cute. She can do whatever she wants. She's so silky, too. She teases us in the summertime. She weaves in and out of our legs, just seducing us with those that silky fur of hers. And she chomps on your ankle and runs the other direction. She's just. Anyhow. Ooh. Back to business. Um. This is going to be pretty easy. I discovered that for the B bands, you pull back, you know, the cap and the black or the C position band so that you have access to these. Whoops. Don't grab the band underneath it, just grab one. And this design works best if crisscross. And since the A and these B bands do not interact with each other, you can choose just to pull back the that C band, as you can see. So you can reach down and grab the B. And you're just going to crisscross all the way up. I won't spend too much time on this because it's very basic. Pull your C band out of the way. Reach down, grab the B. Crisscross. Okay, just do that all the way up. And then you're going to come back and do your border. reach, pull the, that, you know, twisted part of the C-band out of the way. Ah, it's a little tight here. Get down to this band right here and just single chain up each side. And I'll do the other side, but I'm pretty sure most of you will know what to do. Now my husband's only called me like three times, three additional times since those last first two phone calls, but I'm glad he did because he was at a different store. So that's a whole nother list of items and I'm glad he called because I actually had some stuff I needed. So yeah, you're going to do both of these all the way up. So you first will finish the crisscrossing of these B bands, and then you'll go from here to here, and here to here to here, and then I will show you how to resolve this when I come back. Alrighty, we're on the home stretch, and um, to speed up the process. I love these silks. They're so, so pretty. This is the underside, but you know what? Say so I just used, well, I used the silver, 
which one of the metallic on this these are just used like a opaque band and this one I I just did the band straight instead of crisscrossing them and definitely the crisscross looks nicer anyhow I got it off the loom for the most part and so we go any further I need a clip Husband's home. I gotta do this fast. I just heard the door. So. Okay, he's just gonna be noisy. So we're gonna reach under one, under here, grab that connector band, hold it with one hand, grab the other half, and then <laughs> say why. Okay. I'm gonna close the door. Hold on. Sorry about that. I just want to get this off the hook and show you. So, while I'm doing this, if you like my designs, feel free to subscribe to Deb's Things. And definitely check me out on Instagram, at Deb's Things. Okay. So, we take this off. And on these double-layered bands, um, I worked on these here, but the ones that are kind of twisted up, you as we've all done and Chichero showed very clearly Chichero's bling um, you just kind of have to flick them so we won't look at that part because I haven't done that but it's, oh my gosh I love it so much it's so pretty it's so pretty I love the way the white peeks out from the blacks here not cute so anyhow yeah there you have it and I'm gonna go off camera before my big old husband comes in with his big man voice and doesn't realize the camera's on. See you next tutorial.